Thanks be busy mom, fat loss expert and author of Fit Yummy Mommy, which is celebrating seven years this week. And as a bonus, I am making some extra videos for you based on your requests. This one comes in for a request on how to tone the butt. Well, I like to talk about more of targeting the butt and helping to shape and create that beautiful backside. I have five favorite moves that I want to share with you today that do exactly that. And this is actually one of my favorite body parts to work and something that I have really been focusing on to help create more curved curvature. And because of that, my clothes don't fit like they used to, and that's okay because I'm really working on that nice curve, that shape. So in order to get the most out of these exercises, know that you are doing this within a full body strength training workout. You're doing strength training every other day, making sure that there's a day of rest in between and you are using a weight that's going to challenge you in order to cause your body to change. Before you do any of these exercises, it's very important that you warm up, specifically having a warm-up that activates sleepy glutes. So I'm going to show you three of the ways that I like to activate or wake up my glutes. The first one, you're going to need a band. It's called the band X-Walk. You're going to be positioning your feet in between the band. Find the right resistance. I'm using Dave's continuous loop band, so that makes it easy. So I'm going to bend over bringing my grip down. Now, what I'm gonna be do is, doing is shuffling from side to side, maintaining that resistance between my feet. And as I shuffle, think of squeezing my glutes and I'm leading with my heel. I like to go five to eight repetitions on each side, two to three rounds, and you'll really start to feel that burn. It's very important that your foot stays your feet stay parallel and that you're le thinking of leading with your heel it's going to help activate that glute the next one is a hip bridge you're going to join me down here on the mat so lying down you want to make sure that you are your your feet your legs are bent your knees are hip distance apart we don't want any knees going in or out you can always place a ball between your knees to help make sure they're in the right position and you want to think about the fact that you can wiggle your toes. You're going to drive your heels down into the mat as you squeeze your glutes and you elevate your hips. Now, it's very important that you elevate them using your glutes, not your lower back, so you don't want any hyperextension. And the best way that you can check for that is that when you get to this point, you should be able to draw a line, straight line from your knee to your hip to your shoulder. There should be none of this. And at the top of the bridge, you can pause for two to three seconds take your fingers and poke your butt it should feel hard even if you have to go through a few layers that means that you are activating your glutes eight to ten repetitions of the hip bridge is great you can always make it more advanced by extending one leg or you can always bring it up or you can bring your knee in the key here is though that you are feeling it in your glutes if you do not feel it in your glutes or are feeling your hamstrings that means your hamstrings are taking over because your glutes are not awake Walk your feet out slightly, and now this time, instead of thinking of driving your heels down into the mat, think of down and away. So now I'm pushing away, and I'm really feeling the squeeze of my glutes. All right. Next exercise, the bird dog. So you're going to get on all fours. Check to make sure that your knees are under your hips. Nice flat back. Wrists are under your shoulders, and you're going to take one hand across, uh, straight out and your opposite leg straight out, making sure to find that balance. And as you kick your leg straight out, think of driving through your heel and squeezing your glutes at the same time. Bring it down, do it on the opposite side. Squeeze your glutes as you extend that leg straight back. So think of driving through your heel. 